Signals, talking of signals. Welcome to the shortwave radio show. And, uh, well, video. You see this line here? And we're going to actually go up because I want to probably get, catch it way higher in frequency. Let's see if we can get it somewhere else. Here we go. You see it going through here. It's going up in frequency. It's not as strong, but you can see these dots going through. This is a Iona sound. So if you're listening to shortwave and you hear a chirping sound, uh, one of the things that a lot of people are wondering is what is that chirping sound? Now that chirping sound is a Iona sound. So this is what a type of radar, basically. We're going to go to our 11,000. We're going to see if we're going to hear it here. There we go. It's even stronger here. So this is now 11,000 kilohertz. So, um, and let's go to 12,000. Let's follow it. See how high we can get it. So the Iona sounds go up to, some go up to 40 megahertz in frequency range. And here we go. 12,000. Let's go to 13,000. See what we're getting there. And here we go. Continuing to follow it right here, 13. Let's go to WWV frequency of 15,000 kilohertz. So we lost it just before WWV here. We lost it just before WWV. So this is a Iona sound. This is, like I said, a radar that is meant to verify uh, the maximum usable frequency. Here's another one. It's now shooting up. It stopped here, but we're going to still try to catch it. Let's go 7500. Let's see if we can see it um, higher in frequency. So basically for the different purposes of uh, military and all sorts of like, you know, the uh, NATO um, signals. Sometimes military, for example, Air Force and um, even Marine will want to know what are the best frequencies to use for communication systems. And so by using Iona sounds, they know where the maximum usable frequency is. They know where the best frequency is for uh, the uh, propagation. Here you go. So if the Iona sound is, of course, stronger, that means the maximum usable frequency around that area is stronger. Let's go up to 11,000. And they know what frequencies to use. So they are sent uh, all day long, multiple times a day, multiple times per hour even. It's been a long time that we heard those chirping sounds. But for a while, one of the things that we didn't know is exactly what they were. And it's with an SDR that it becomes interesting because SDRs suddenly showed us the, the line, the moving line of that Iona sound. And so it's interesting to note. And you see here I can follow it because it's going up in frequency. Um, like I said, frequencies can be up to 40 megahertz on Iona sounds. Here, see it's very weak here. It's not propagation, propagating very well on that higher frequency there. So we hear that often, and a lot of people are like, what is that? So if you're listening on an analog radio, one of the things you'll notice, you'll hear a chirping sound, basically. So um, a, basically, ionospheric reflections of radio waves discovered in 1924 by Edward Victor Appleton uh, basic Iona sound technology was invented in 1925, guys. Pretty crazy when you think about it. So, a Iona sound consists of a high-frequency transmitter, automatically tunable over a wide range. Typically, the frequency coverage is from, for the most part, 0.5, that's 500 kilohertz all the way to 23 megahertz. But it can also go from 1 megahertz to 40 megahertz. Uh, normally, sweeps are confined to 1.6 to 12 megahertz. So you see, they didn't go really past 15 most of the time. I haven't seen Iona sounds. I don't think I've ever seen an Iona sound above 20 megahertz. 
But keep in mind, they go up to 40 megahertz, so they, it can exist. A tracking HF receiver can automatically track the frequency of the transmitter. An antenna with a suitable radiation pattern transmits well vertically upwards and is efficient over the whole frequency range is used. And a digital control and data analysis circuit is used. The transmitter sweeps all or part of the HF frequency range, transmitting short pulses. As you notice, it's not a straight line. It's little pulses that create that line, so it's really short pulses. The pulses are reflected at various layers of the ionosphere at heights from 100 to 400 kilometers. Their echoes are received by the receiver and analyzed by a control system, and the results are displayed in a form of a ionogram. So this is really, really kind of interesting to check this out and have the information about it. And as you've seen, we've had a few that we followed through this video. And that's was the purpose. I was actually waiting to make the video, waiting for one to pass so I can start the video and just uh, start recording and kind of showing you guys what they are all about. And of course, if you don't have an SDR, when you hear that tweep go through when you're listening to your favorite broadcast, well, you can think about an IONO a sound that just went through and is probably sweeping the frequency ranges. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.